Alrighty, what's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you are new here and in this video we're going to be doing a quick trade recap going over a trade that I did in which I made a I believe it was $1,250 profit or so using less than $1,400 in about two hours. Now, I wasn't planning on making a video on this trade. It's a trade from yesterday, but today, you know, I see on Instagram, I got another message from someone saying, uh, you know, basically saying, Boosha. I don't want to say that word because then they'll be like, oh, you're going to get demonetized for using bad words. But anyways... It, th I posted something on my story yesterday saying, you know, hey, look, we made like a nice, you know, profit. It was like a $100 profit. It was like 98% on my screenshot. I don't know if I really zoom in there, if you can kind of see that. Yeah, 98%. There we go. Um, so th basically, that's what I, pro I posted. And the guy was saying it hasn't gone up 100%. Stop lying and scamming people. Uh, and this is a common thing that I get. The guy doesn't even follow me, first of all. I just realized that right now. Um, but that's why I want to make this video is because I do get a lot of messages like this. Now, not all of them are this aggressive. Usually, it's people asking like, hey, dude, like what this, that, the other? How do you what, what's going on here? And I'm, I'm happy to explain or that's how I usually started making my YouTube videos here. It was actually from a root from people like this on Instagram or Twitter commenting, oh, dude, you're just scamming people, you're lying, there's no such thing, it didn't even go up 100%, it didn't go up 20%, it went up 2%, this, that, the other, they don't understand that we're trading options, so I started making YouTube videos to kind of, you know, just show that, and then it just kind of picking up from there, I just said, all right, well, let me start ma make some here, make some there, people start saying, oh my god, if you're not making videos, you're starting to lose all your money, and it's, it's a lot to keep up with, guys, trying to, you know, post publicly and all that, but anyways, besides the fact, that's why I want to make this video, is just to kind of, you know, like, put this guy in his place, I mean, he doesn't even follow me, he's not going to watch the video, it's not like it's for him him but for anybody else that's out there that wants to know and has this kind of curiosity and confusion this is where I'm breaking it down the stock did not go up 100% but I wasn't trading the stock shares I was trading the stock options so that's how I was able to make that 100% profit so uh, let's just jump into it right here and go over the trade recap and everything um, as you can see I got into the trade at 904 a.m. I was out at 11 12 so like what two hours and like 15 minutes let's just say two hour trade uh, I had three contracts. We were trading calls. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. Now, I had three contracts only. The cost of the trade was 440 for each contract. The way options works is one is equivalent to 100. So it's not $4.40 that we're really working with here. It's more $440 that we're working with here. So I had three of them. So that puts the cost of the trade at about, I don't have my calculator on me. I'm going to have to do it in my head real quick. Actually, I do I have my little phone here. I'll just use that. Okay, so 440, I just want to be exact. 440 times three is 1,320. So the cost of the trade was 1,320. So that's where I posted. I said, hey, I made this profit using less than $1,400. Here it is. Now that doesn't mean we were risking $1,320 here. That's just the cost of the trade. I always use my used car example. I'm going to use it here since this is a more of a beginner friendly video. If you go buying a used car for $1,000 thinking you can sell it for $1,500 and you find out, oh man, this was wrong with it. It needed new tires, blah, 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 whatever. You're not going to just take the car to the junkyard. You're sell it for like a loss. You see what I mean? You're not just going to say, okay, I'm done with it. Everybody I'll just throw it away here and put it in the trash. No, that's the same idea here is it's not going to go to zero the way that we trade, the way we know how to trade, the way we have our plans, this, that, and the other. It's not going to go to zero. So we're not risking 1320 That's just the cost of the trade. So moving forward, you can see now that the cost of the trade was 1320 we paid 440 each and we pretty much doubled our our money our profit 440 to 880 would have been a double a 100% profit so we were just a little bit below a 100% uh, I'm sorry a 100% profit as you saw from the screenshot that I showed you guys it was like 98% profit something like that along those lines so i sold all three of them for 860 each so you have two ways of being able to look at this. You can say we bought it for 440 and we sold it for 860. That means the profit was 420 on each one. We had three of them. So 420 times three is 1,260. That's the profit that we had. The total profit by the time I closed it out and everything was $1,260 profit. The other way you could look at it is by saying, okay, we sold it for 860. 860 times three is 2,580. The cost of the trade 
was 1,320. So subtract 1,320 from this 2,580. And that's where you basically get the same 1,260. So just different ways to show you guys this. You can see that we turned, you know, 440 into 860. You can say that we made, you know, we took, we bought a used car for $1,320 and then we sold it for $2,500 a few hours later. Uh, there's just different ways that you guys can look at this, but I mainly wanted to focus on that idea here. I thought we were past that at this day and age because when I first started making these YouTube videos like four years ago, that was the main purpose was to try and like bring light to that topic and educate people like, yo, relax. Not everything in life is a scam. I get it. The majority of people are, but like, come on, dude, like use some common sense, do a little bit of research before you start trying to call people out. But that's just, the majority of people these days so it's understandable i thought we were past it but this guy reassured me that we weren't past it so i'm sure there's other people out there that have the same concern so this is for them i hope this can kind of enlighten you and educate you more about how we're doing the things that we're doing and then just to kind of show it on the chart and everything for you guys here um we'll go in 904 to 12 or to 11 12 yesterday so right here is where i got into the trade kind of like right at the bottom of that pullback there Right as we got a dip to that 290 here. So basically we popped, we locked, and we dropped it. You got to pop, lock, and drop it. You know what I mean? So once we dropped it, I decided to buy the bounce, little reversal signs, all this, that, off of the 290 area. Didn't go low. I mean, it went a little lower. What? Like 289? It went $1 lower. Um, and then I sold the trade. I took the profit right at around 11, 12, I think it was. So right around this area here, right at the 300, pretty much right around the 300 area is where I closed out the trade, as you guys can see here. So 904 to 11, 12, this went from 440 to 860. 904 from 1112 that's basically from 290 to 300 so it could have been a lot more imagine if we got into the trade down at 270 and sold it at 300 my goodness that would have been like a 500 percent profit probably um but anyways i just want to kind of show you guys what's possible and then if i held it overnight it would have been a lot more money as well if i held it to the end of the day it would have been a lot more but that's not the point here we're not really focused on that we're not really worried about that i just wanted to kind of show you guys you know what's possible and kind of recap on that particular trade to show you guys how we are able to make a 100 percent profit when the stock didn't go up 100%, you know, from 270 to 300. Don't get me wrong. That's like a, a at least a 10% profit right there on the stock. The stock was up at least 10%, but my trade was up 100%. How? Because we were trading the options. I was trading calls, the 295 call, but that's besides the fact I don't want to ramble here. I don't want to make this video too long because some people might get upset. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll just put some links in the description below. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, who's Bijan T, feel free to add me on those. If you want to learn how to do this kind of stuff from A through Z, I do have a masterclass that'll teach you that. If you don't want to learn, maybe you already know how to trade. You just want to know what I'm trading, what stocks I'm watching. I offer a watch list. It basically, I update it daily. I I say, hey, this is what I'm watching for tomorrow. We're going to get in if the stock hits this level. If it hits that level, we're going to get out. So it's not just a list of stocks. It's a whole game plan and all that. Uh, but anyways, we'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or a great rest of your night, depending on where you're at. Just have a great rest of your life, as I like to say, and I will talk to you all soon. Hey, wait, wait, if you're still here, please press the thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Okay, now have a great life. Talk to you guys soon.